they really believed in something bigger than themselves. They may be gone, but never forgotten. Meet Travis Manion and Brendan Looney, former roommates at the Naval Academy. These best friends, now fallen heroes. Fallujah, Iraq, April 29, 2007. Travis Manion suddenly ambushed on patrol with his fellow Marines, a sniper shooting him. Sadly, Travis is the only one in the group who doesn't return. His best friend, Navy SEAL Brendan Looney, hears the news and breaks down. I was lucky enough to room with Travis at the Naval Academy for two years. In a very short time, he became another brother. He was a great friend, and I'll forget him. Just three years later, in the mountains of Afghanistan, September 21st, 2010, Brendan Looney aboard a Black Hawk helicopter that falls from the sky, the chopper crashing, killing him and eight other heroes. Their story, our story, is but one of the stories of the incredible American heroes from the last decade. These best friends, sharing a deep love for this country and service beyond themselves, President Barack Obama recognizing it in 2011 on Memorial Day. The friendship between First Lieutenant Travis Menin and Lieutenant Brendan Looney reflects the meaning of Memorial Day. Brotherhood, sacrifice, love of country. Brothers forever lying here side by side amongst thousands of heroes. But this tragic loss has given new life to a friendship, one that they call a sisterhood. There's such a bond because we understood the, the relationship that Travis and Brendan have. So, and when, when you lose someone, you try to look for that piece to hold on to. The connection between these two heroes lives on. Meet Ryan Mannion, Travis's sister. Today she runs the foundation named after him. I'm empowered by them. Um, I'm, I'm grateful for their sacrifice is not about you, right? It's about the greater good. And, and doing something similar to what these guys did in the military, right? Serving a higher purpose and being a part of something where you feel like you're giving back. Brendan's widow, Amy Looney, came here to Arlington National Cemetery sharing big news about a new chapter in her life. I just got engaged last month and, you know, I'm, I'm really fortunate in a sense that, you know, Brendan is still a huge part of my life and always will be until the day that I die. We get to work with families and veterans and children of the fallen every on a daily basis. And I think, you know, for us, each step that we take, every program that we work with, I'm taking a step for Brendan. And everywhere I go and every mark that I do, I want to make sure that the way that he lived his life, his character, his values, his morals, his leadership skills, everything that he isn't here to do, I feel like it's up to me and, and to Ryan to do that in memory of Brendan and Travis. This weekend, Memorial Day, Ryan Mannion and Damie Looney are President Obama's guests during his final wreath-laying ceremony at Arlington. There are so many men and women that we've lost and it's very important that we remember them. Travis and Brendan, again, they truly represent this generation of men and women. Um, and, and we say that all the time, you know, the work we do at the Travis Manning Foundation is not about just Travis and Brendan's story. It's about all of these men and women who have given their lives in service to our country. The two women, bound by heartbreak, sharing advice for other Gold Star families. I remember screaming the day Travis died, it's not fair, it's not fair, and thinking this, this never happened to anybody else in the history of time, but you find that uh, you become part of this, like you said, this group you don't want to be a part of. It takes a while for you to process and even understand and, and to not necessarily be in denial that something like this could happen to you and to your family. And I think once you get to a place where you've accepted this loss, it's, 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 a, it's important to figure out how do you live with this loss on a daily basis. Honoring and remembering all of our heroes this Memorial Day. For On the Record, I'm Griff Jenkins.